ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring with Bobby Fulton, the team of Chris Adonis and Rat Titus. We saw that Bobby Fulton said he could find two guys to kick the fixer's butts, and he found two incredible dudes. And their opponents already in the ring, the Fixers! I think what's so important is the stipulation for this matchup. If the Fixers lose this match, they need to surrender the old oh. NWA. United States Tag Team Championship belts, and they- They know it too, wasting oh, no time. Yeah, they don't want to give yet. up those vintage belts. Yeah, they have no intention of, of giving those up. What is that, a double, double stomach claw? Yeah. I think it is. It, and just double hip toss. Stomach claw, I think, would be the least effective against Rhett Titus, who has rock hard sure. abdominals. <laughs> Good point. Well, I am impressed by Bobby Fulton in, in that recent interview, saying that he was going to find two of the toughest guys to beat up the fixers. He found he sure some incredible candidates. Former national heavyweight champion Chris Adonis and Red Titus. And keep in mind, folks, if you're new to the National Wrestling Alliance, the fixers are not our United States Tag Team Champions. Those are the old title belts. They refuse to surrender. They lost the titles to the country gentlemen. Those titles have then been upgraded, those title belts, I mean. But the fixers stealing those physical belts and carrying them around, really masquerading as the champions, even though they're not. Well, and Bobby Fulton took, took uh, exception to the fact that they, in, in his opinion, were dishonoring the American flag, were, were not showing uh, honor in general by stealing those titles. And, and really, he went and found two guys that could take care of that. And, and dishonoring the, the United States Tag Team Championship, something that he's a two-time champion of, right. something that's very near and dear to Bobby Fulton's heart. Well, and they insulted him personally. I mean, that way they called him an old fogey. They, I mean, you're talking about one of the one of the best in the history of the business, and like you said, two-time tag champions. And he, you know, he's not gonna he's not gonna take that take that easy. Wrecking ball with the claw, again, applied to the abdomen and, area. Know, maybe they must know something yeah. I don't. Maybe there's an injury or something to the abdominals or to the ribs of Rhett Titus I'm not aware of. They are targeting that like crazy in this match. To the headbutt, to the guts of Rhett Titus. Maybe, the, maybe his abs are just so ripped there. They're maybe Trying to so, break them yeah, down, well, something, maybe? You think something, they're jealous Something to grab abs. onto. Perhaps. And Titus was looking for the drop toe hold, but... Over 400 pounds oh, you can see of the wrecking pain. ball. Ligurski's not letting it happen. Brett Titus trying to fight desperately from underneath so wrecking ball can break that. And again, a punch to the gut. Jay Bradley directing traffic. Chris Adonis trying to get this. Brett Titus was trying to make a tag. Corner trying to make a tag. Like a freight train. In comes Bradley. Tag wasn't made. Bradley, getting a little excited in the matchup. Double team by the fixer on right, Brett Titus right now. And you see Bobby Fulton on the outside saying, you gotta make it, you gotta make it to the corner, you gotta tag in Adonis. And that abdominal stretch again targeting the abs. The core of Brett Titus. Titus trying to get a hip toss, but Jay Bradley, such an imposing yeah, force. Tag is made, in comes the wrecking ball. Driving that, that Red Titus driving that elbow, point of his elbow into that thigh, and there, it, no effect at all. Wrecking ball with the bear hug applied to Red Titus right now. That immense pressure that it puts on your lower back. You see Reddy's trying to desperately yeah. break out of it. Got to tag out to Adonis. Ball just Knee cuts strike. Him right back off, breaking him down piece by piece. And Rhett desperately trying to make the tag to Adonis. Yeah, Adonis reaching out, but he knows he's so far away. Again, Rhett Titus trying to make the tag at any chance he can. Tag is made. Jay Bradley comes in. Oh, no, 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 no. Spins Ooh, out. Comes sidewalk down slam. Bradley with the pin on Titus now. Shoulders Adonis down. breaks it up at the last second. Yeah, Adonis feeling like he had to come in after all the damage that Red Titus has received in this matchup. 
Oh. And Red Titus trying to fight from underneath. Open hand chop. Another one on Jay Bradley. Rings his bell. Tag is made. In comes the wrecking ball. And Red Titus right, right back in that corner that he doesn't want to be in. Jay Bradley charged him. He was able to move out of the way. Flattens him. Tag is There's made to tag. Adonis. In comes Here Adonis. Comes. Taking it to wrecking ball now. Punch by punch. Shoots him off. Reverse. The precious man in the match diving nice in with a shoulder, shoulder block. tackle by Adonis. Taking Wrecking Ball off his feet. What's he calling for there? Is, is he going to go for he's it? He's going to lock in the master lock. lock. He can do it. Oh, he's trying to body uh, slam Wrecking Ball. 426 Oof. pounds, ladies and gentlemen. The Wrecking Ball. Turns it around, body slams Adonis, sending him down on the mat hard. And now to Rhett Titus. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Ligurski coming off the ropes. Oh, misses, misses with the headbutt. Head but the veteran. Don is Can up. he lock it in? Can he lock it in? Oh, is he able to? Man. The, mass, the massive arms. Wrecking Ball fighting it. He's fighting it. Oh. Drop kick into the face. Oh, he got it. He got it locked in. He's got it locked in. Got got it locked in. from Brett Titus. Oh, he's, he's got, got nowhere to, to go. Locked in. He's, he's fading. Look at the color change on his he's face. He's tapping out. out. He's it's tapping over. out. This match, the team he did it. Chris Adonis and Rhett Titus. And finally, the Woo. fixers have to give up those decommissioned United States Tag Team belts. Congratulations to Rhett Titus, Chris Adonis, and more so to Bobby Fulton. He put together a perfect team. They got the job done. Well, and, and, and credit to, to Bradley and Ligurski. I mean, they bring in the belts over. They're going to do what they said they were going to do. He wants the belts. Yep, he gonna... wants to take them home. Yep. Come on in here. Those are not your belts. You lost them. They're not even sanctioned anymore. Bring me the belts in here. I'll take them to the wrestling office. Come on. All right. Oh. All right. Well, Bobby Fulton is saying, you got to give me the belts. He's going to take them. They're going to go into a museum. The fixers are yeah. actually complying. They're actually doing yeah. it. Looks no, like first time they ever. They, would. they said they would. Still, they said they would, but I, deep down, they, I didn't believe them. Bobby Fulton I'm, wants I'm to be the caretaker for these decommissioned belts. A lot of history here. Jay Bradley handing over his belt. Now Ligurski handing over his. Now, Jay, Jay Bradley wants to get a picture. I don't blame him. There's our, our resident photographer, Haban. Um. Okay, I, don't blame I, I guess they're going to pose. Mm. If they got to give up the belts, they want to keep the picture. Goofy poses. Oh, come on! Are you serious? See, I knew what? this was going to happen. Something of the sort. They There's no the way. There's no way the fixers are compliant with All this. Right. No way. Welcome to NWA USA. This is the NWA wrestling as it's meant to be. Poor Bobby Fulton. Yeah, what an exciting episode, everybody. Welcome yes. to the broadcast. Once again, it's Joe Galley, Tim Storm, and it's time. It's time 
It's velvet time, baby. Let's do this. I love it. I love Go. these Saturdays. Yes. I love NWA USA. We've got some of the best action in the entire sport mm -hmm. of professional wrestling. The ill-begotten in tag team action against the Savages. That's Blake Troop and Jack Stane, the Dane event. They're going to have their hands full for sure. And in our women's division, we're continuing on in the tournament for the NWA Women's Television Championship. And we're taking it all the way back to a rematch from Hard Times 3, one of the most physical matches we've ever seen. Max the Impaler versus Natalia Markova. Woo. It's happening on this episode. Let's, Let's get to the action. A ton of history between these two warriors. Natalia Markova, Woo. Max the Impaler. Max victorious at Hard Times 3 in the first ever Voodoo Queen casket match. This match all about continuing on to Chicago, to NWA 312, the bell is rung, in comes oh. Markova, wasting no time. Taking it right to Max, Max just throws her off like a rag doll. There you see the sinister Markova minister, on the back Father James of Mitchell. Max now. Father James Mitchell has paid dividends before when it comes to Max the Impaler. Markova. He's Better. not letting up on Max. Eyes in the back of her head as Max. Max is trying to wow. back Markova in the corner. She didn't. To didn't, get Markova off of Max. Didn't, she, didn't, didn't uh, Markova didn't give a budge. I mean, she didn't no. budge at all. Markova knows what it takes to be in a matchup with Max the Impaler. Oh, drilled her. Very familiar with each other. And, and honestly, pound for pound, two of the strongest strikers, oh, I think, absolutely. in the National Wrestling Alliance. Speaking of which, Markova. Man. I mean, that was a very, very powerful shot to the midsection, and Max didn't give one the iota. Way Max just powers Markova up like that. Wow! Oh, 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 gut buster! Oh, it could be over here! Max wants to continue on. Max wants to hold gold here in the NWA oh. kick out. Max didn't even hesitate on that pin. That, 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 the way it should be right there. Ooh, Markova definitely feeling the damage from that. She's trying to desperately crawl to the ropes to pull herself up. Max puts a stop to that. Markova, Markova able to kick Max off. Getting the separation. Get to oh, drop toe hold to oh, Max. It worked. it worked to perfection. Max crashing into the middle rope. And again, Markova going after the throat. Putting all of that pressure into the neck. Trying to take out the air supply of Max the Impaler. If you can get Max down, you've got to keep Max down. Oh, That's sure. But Max, oh. Oh. oh! So powerful, so imposing, so terrifying. Oh, no, 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 not, is oh, Max the lick! licking Markova. Oh. Maxine Pair, it, it, it's vicious, animalistic. I mean, wrenching, yeah. twisting. And you see Markova, the color, the complexion in her face is starting to change. That air supply, like we said, it's being cut off. Oh, Markova's in trouble right now. The strength She's in trouble. Wow, Ooh. trying it all of the way. Oh. oh, it just gets planted, planted. And Markova is being brutalized. Max is loving it. A uh, very vulnerable position for Markova right now. She's got to get herself, pull herself up. Max charges. Oh, oh Markova gets the boot up. Just barely stunning, stunning Max. You, you talked about what a strong striker. And that's what, four in a row? Right there. And it finally got Max in a vulnerable position. Oh. There's our father, James Mitchell. Right in front. Did what he had to do. Scott Wheeler, the official. I'm not sure Scott Wheeler saw that, though. Gave I, Max the advantage to get back to their feet. Caught. Oh, what? my it's God. It. Max oh, driving Markova geez. through the mat. Cover on Markova. Oh, Markova Last kicks second. out. <laughs> Even Scott Wheeler's like, he doesn't want any part of that. Mm. He's, I think Scott Wheeler's even afraid. I'd be afraid, too, oh, I if I had to be in the Same. ring. Oh, uh -oh. no, no, not oh, this. No. Not this. We've seen this before not from good. Max. No, you can don't break do it. Face. Oh, my gosh. 
face first, curb stomp into that bottom turnbuckle. Rags are She's to the lifeless. center of the ring now. Markova's lifeless, and look at the smile on the face of the Cover. sinister minister. He thinks it's over, and it is not. Natalia, Mark, we, we know Natalia's never going to quit. I, they, no matter what, we've it, seen her take beating after beating after beating, of course, delivering beatings as well. She is one tough woman, that Markova. She can hang with anyone. She can hang with the best of them, and she just keeps getting back up no matter what kind of pain she has to take. The problem, though, is, is she's in the ring with Max the Oh, Taylor. sure. <laughs> the whole different ball game for Markova. Ooh. Again, thrown like a rag doll from Max the Impaler. Not good for Markova as Max charges, nobody home. Oh, miscalculation. That spinning heel kick, will it be enough? No, Max! Get, oh, eats that the big knee. knee to the face of Max. There now. it is, the, the beautiful destruction again to the face. Oh my gosh, Markova. Markova, she's, she's lost, lost it. it. Yeah, she's up. In the corner, smothering Max. With her whole body. Up and look at Chase Mitchell. Everybody's Mitchell trying, to, trying to pull Markova off. She didn't break the five count. Scott Wheeler calling the match. The referee has thrown this match out due to disqualification. The winner, Max the Impaler. Not the victory Max the Impaler was looking for, but Max will continue on. You can look at Markova, she she can't believe it. It's almost as if she snapped. She didn't know what she was doing when she I, I, I think Markova just saw red. Corner. Markova just saw red and now Max. Oh, sure. oh, oh not short arm finished delivering the beating to Markova. This match is over, but Max does not care. Either way, if you are in this TV title tournament, you have to be concerned. If not, you have to be scared. Max is moving on. Max could head to Chicago for NWA 3-1-2. We got to take a break. We'll be back. Wait a oh, minute. Wait a no, minute. hold CJ. on. What CJ, is, what's CJ doing out here? Uh, what does she have to do with Max and Natalia? I, hmm. well, I guess we're going to find I, out. I don't, I don't know. I'm, obviously, there were some wait, issues between... Magic between Jake is not out Magic here. Magic Jake and Mercurio we saw in recent ah. weeks, but... I mean. Okay. Um. All right. She's real pretty, though, huh? I I guess so, but I'm, I have no idea what's happened here. We got a reset. We're taking a break. We'll be back. Experience the captivating story of Deborah Medusa Michelli, a woman who never let her past define her. This is the woman who would be king. The Medusa story. In her captivating memoir, Medusa shares her story of perseverance, determination, and triumph over adversity. Discover the truth behind her upbringing and how she became a world champion before revolutionizing the monster truck world. Don't miss this unforgettable tale of a woman who refused to give up no matter the odds. Pre-order The Woman Who Would Be King today. Whoa, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W. Deals, and the lovely Candy. Oh, man, we're right on the heels, enough said, right? You know what I did? I snuck in at night after the show was over. I ripped off all the turnbuckles and made everybody sign it. To give the deal man your shirt size, I'm just going to throw in this, because I only got a couple left. I only got about eight left. For free? Listen, we're cutting deals here, Candy. What are you talking about? Of course, this new wonderful program that I designed all about myself. Look at that. Hey, what's up, boss? Look who's in it. Oh, buddy, right there. It's actually worth $30 now, but we're going to sell for 10 bucks because we don't care. We're cutting deals. NationalWrestlingLines.com. Hit the shop button. What do you got? Let's do it. We'll do it quick before Knox gets to his feet and the table. It's Cardona! Turned. It's Cardona! Dare I say oh, he doesn't see it. Oh, it's no. Cardona! This is complete BS. This is a savage beatdown is, is what it is. Uh, Scott Wheeler's trying to do anything he can to stop this. I'm disgusted that I even oh, have no. to sit here and watch these two right now. Cardona and Knox. Wait a minute. What is this? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Cardona giving the orders, telling Mike Knox to do it. Put him through the table. It's Cardona's way or the highway every time. We're, we're trying uh, to no, get some no, help no, out no, here no, from no, Bully Don't Ray. do it, Knox. Don't do it, Knox. Oh, you know he's going to do it. Well, I don't Whoa. know. Cardona is disrespecting Knox, so I don't know. You can only push a man so far. Don't do it, Knox. Don't do it. Oh, he's hey, going to take okay. his hand around the throat of Cardona. Do it, Knox. Cardona do was, it. He pushed too far. Do he it. pushed Knox do too it. far. Do it. 
Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Cardona got planted yeah. through the table. Thank you. Mike Knox standing up for himself. The Cardona family has imploded just like that table. Please welcome Mike Knox. Mike, I want to know, have you and Matt Cardona broken or is this some sort of greater Cardona family deception? I remember who I was. You know, I've known Matt for 15 years, maybe 16 years. When we started this thing, he said he had an army. We were going to take over NWA. We were going to save it. It's going to be wonderful. You know, now like we've been here over a year and he got his title, he got hurt, you know, that's nobody's fault. That's that's fate stepping in. Mm -hmm. uh, but the story is, he said he had an army. So when we needed an army, the SK wasn't here. Myers wasn't here. Nobody was here except for me. Pretty darn loyal, I would say. Mm -hmm. Mike, do this, done. Mike, do that, done. Where's your army, Matt? It's an internet army. They're not real, Matt. I've been traveling this world for 25 years. And you know what I've been doing? I've been building a real army. After every show, I go to the bar because I know who I am and I know what I'm good at. I make friends everywhere I go. People remember I was in their town. Wrestling be damned. I don't care if you like me or not. You will not hear a bad word about me. Am I a little crazy? Yes. Okay, I'm a little nutty. I stay in the sun too long. Okay? Matt, your army is fake and mine is real. I want to fight people. I'm here to fight people. I don't like complaining. You're too much. And you know, you stop paying for the bar bills. You stop paying my fines. Not for nothing. I'm not a greedy man. But that was part of the deal, brother. Matt, best of luck. Have fun with Bubba, all right? Also, it was brought to my attention by my wife that after your wedding, I may have been a tad insensitive. She explained to me, she's a smart woman. She explained to me that I was still holding on to a grudge from months and months and months ago. And I know you guys take me as a joke or whatever, but I said, uh, I'll be your friend one time, you know? And you said, no, but I think you were maybe just been a little scared. One thing with this, I want to congratulate you on your spread. I didn't, I didn't look at it because I do want to be friends and I don't want to picture you in that manner. Thank you so much for what you do. I can come home now and get some dinner for my wife. And we can be friends. We can. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. This is Chris Silvio Esquire. And allow me to introduce to you the two most dangerous men on the planet. First known for dropping warheads on people's foreheads, the greatest force in combat sports, Blake Bulletproof Troop! And the six foot four, 300 plus pound human wrecking machine, Jax Dane! And we are savages. Number one contenders match. Winner will go on to take on the country gentlemen for the United States Tag Team Championships. Danny Yobie. Deal's really able to politic here after the recent success by Alex Taylor to get the ill-begotten an opportunity here, but they have to go through the savages, and that will be difficult to say the least. And there you see the Megalodane, managed by Chris Silvio, who's really building kind of a, a whole crew and empire with these savages. This will be a good test as far Tag. as- So far, so good. Yeah, it's, it's the, the ill-begotten, longer history as tag team. It's, it, 
tons of more tons more matches. But I'm not sure that that's going to be enough. This is uh, this is going to be a tough matchup. This pure size and strength. And you're going up against a guy like Blake Troop with an incredible mixed martial arts background, and you see it in the way that he he does this offense. It's, it's hard to see exactly where he's going to be coming from. Shoulder tackle. Alex Taylor going to try again. Oh, nope, unsuccessful. Can't, can't bring Troop down. Well, and we've seen we've seen other uh, Troop MMA, the ropes now. MMA oh, Alex athletes Taylor dropped toe hold. Sorry, try to make, oh, you're fine. I mean, try to make that, and I mean that literally. It, it try to make that transition from MMA to professional wrestling unsuccessfully. But you can see how, how he moves from MMA to wrestling oh, back to smooth. MMA. Sure. Yeah, seamless. Yes. yes. Here comes Plunkett. Little double team on Blake Troop here. Alex Taylor sends Plunkett. Here comes and Alex. Drop kick to the guts. Plunkett with a snap mare on Troop. Cover. Shoulders down, kick out by Troop. There you see both managers, Chris Silvio on the outside, Danny Deals as well, both have their manager's licenses. Blake Troop trying to get out of that rear waist lock. And this is this is a good move by, by Plunkett. Isolates the arm, there's he's, Silvio on the outside. So, he Tim. he uh, knows well, what's at stake for this match, how hard he's had to work to get the Savages this opportunity. And look at Plunkett, the veteran, going after the exposed toes. Whatever it takes. Well, and that's what you, you want to stay away from uh, exposing a, a joint to somebody with that MMA background. And Plunkett was able to do that. Double side Russian leg sweep on Troop. Alex Taylor with the cover. That quick kick out, though, from Blake Bulletproof Troop. Mr. Esquire looked like he was, uh, Oof. like he, he felt like they, oh, they were in danger. Uh-oh. Kick, rising kick from Alex Taylor, but... It left an opening for Troop. Troop just power, ooh, oh, powering wow. Alex Taylor over, landing hard on the back of his neck. Yeah, he came down incredibly ooh. hard, and Chris Silvio loves what he's seeing. Tag is made. In comes to Jack the, Dane. Yeah, the Megalodane. Alex Taylor in the buckle. Ooh, Jack Dane charges Alex Taylor Loads up on the shoulders. Up. Yep. And you have to remember, Jack Dane, a former NWA. World's Tag Team Champion as well. And Samoan drop by Jack Stain on Alex Taylor. Taking off that fur vest. Held those championships for a long time with Crimson. Throwing it at Plunkett, which brings Plunkett in. He knows how to get it done in a tag team match for sure. And he's so close. That belly to, to the belly corner just there and launching. just launched him. Tag is made in, comes true. So you've got Jack Dane, who has this plethora of experience mm. in tag team wrestling. The same cannot be said by Troop, but what an amazing coach and partner you can oh, have. Sure. So much Blake Troop can learn in a short amount of time. Alex Taylor was trying to fight from underneath, get that momentum back. Troop cut him off with that knee, oh. and that repeated strikes to Alex Taylor. Four you see arms. Silvio on the outside, just egging him on even more. When, when, when Jack Stain gets into this type of tag tag match, tag. he didn't look at this as a, uh, a, a, a mentoring teacher. He sees the potential. Oh. Right. Beautiful hip toss there from Blake Troop. Dane going after Plunkett. Plunkett now getting in the ring, going trying to get his Jack hands Stain on now. Dane. These two have a long history. They've had quite oh a few gosh. battles. Especially in the Tennessee Territory, and Jack Dane, my goodness. But Danny Deals trying to come to the aid of Jeremiah Plunkett. Just took a somewhat of a vicious beating from he Jack Dane. Yes, he did. Not even the legal man. Well, Is he going to be fresh enough to make the tag if needed after and, and, that? And, I, you know, you get hats off to Danny Deals, as annoying as sure. he can be. He was there he, for Plunkett. He was there for Plunkett. He's there for the ill be gotten politicking so hard, using all of Alex Taylor's recent big victories to politic to get this number one contendership matchup. Alex Went Taylor mixed, missed the Enziguri. Tag is made, in comes Here Plunkett. Comes Plunkett, who's a little rocked. He's going straight after off Troop. Off to the race as he goes. Brutal elbow to the face. Here comes those punches. Taking those jabs to Jack Stain now. Jab, one after the other after the other, trying to break 
the big man down, ducks that line. Nice by Plunkett. Yeah. Getting back heel kick, almost takes Jack Stane off his feet. Oh, look at the power Whoa. limit strike to Plunkett. I can't believe it. He's Over calling for Alex pounds. Wright. He's calling for him. He was looking for Alex Taylor, but Alex Taylor was out on the floor. No tag was made there. Plunkett still the legal man. And do a double team on Jack Stane. Oh. Jack Stane ain't trying to hear yeah, it double, today. <laughs> double shoulder tackle. Taylor, oh, oh dive to the outside. Going after Troop, but Troop, he averted that disaster. It was, I think Alex might have got caught on the rope. Plunkett, he's looking for the pile driver. Setting him up. Jack Stane had plans of his own, though. Just too strong. Muscled right out of it. Tag. He's made to Troop. Pop oh the truck, oh my gosh, it's over. Nearly decapitated Plunkett with that clothesline. It's gotta be over. Hoop's not finished with him yet. Oh, look at that. Oh. Going after the leg. Wow, look at uh -oh. that submission. Plunkett's in trouble. Oh my god, a, a variation a, of the figure four. He's, he's got a tap. Out. He's got a the tap. of this match, the Savages. The Savages perhaps now have a date with destiny. They are now the number one contenders for the NWA United States Tag Team Championships. If you're AJ Kazana and Anthony Andrews, you gotta be worried right now. Thanks for joining us, folks. We will see you this Tuesday for Power.